TSA breach, 7 banks and number 039 semicolon hidden 249.6b for unknown government officials and number 039. A federal high court in Lagos Thursday ordered seven banks to remit a total of $793,200,000. About N249,659,700,000. Allegedly hidden with them in breach of the Treasury Single Account TSA, policy, to the federal government. A vacation judge, Justice Chuka Obioser, made the interim order following an ex-party application by the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF. The judge warned that the remittance order would be made permanent on August 8, unless cause was shown why it should not. The AGF through a counsel, Professor Yemi Akinsai George, San, accused the commercial banks of illegally keeping the sums in their custody for unknown government officials. Justice Obioser ordered the banks to remit the various amounts to the designated federal government's asset recovery dollars account domiciled with the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. The banks are United Bank for Africa, UBA, Diamond Bank plc, Sky Bank plc, First Bank Limited, Fidelity Bank plc, Keystone Bank Limited and Sterling Bank plc. According to court processes filed by A. Kinsai George, San, a total of $367.4 meters was illegally hidden by three government agencies in New Bank. Another $41 million was allegedly illegally kept in a National Petroleum Investment Management Services, NAPIMS, fixed deposit account with Sky Bank. The document stated that $277.9 meters was hidden in Diamond Bank, $18.9 meters in First Bank, $24.5 5 meters in Fidelity Bank, $17 million in Keystone Bank, and $46.5 5 meters in Sterling Bank. The AGF's application was supported by a 15-paragraph affidavit deposed to by a lawyer from Akinsai George's law firm, Vincent Dodo. Edito averred that the banks colluded with federal government officials to hide the funds in breach of the TSA policy. The funds, he stated, were revenues, donations, transfers, refunds, grants, taxes, fees dues, tariffs etc. accruable to the federal government from different ministries, departments, parastatals and agencies. Adido said the banks failed to remit the funds to the TSA domiciled in the CBN in violation of the guidelines issued by the Accountant General of the Federation which fixed September 15, 2015 as the deadline for such funds to be moved. The first to seventh respondents, banks, in collaboration with and or collusion with unknown officials of the federal government, conspired to disobey the relevant constitutional provisions, thereby depriving the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria of funds belonging to it, which are needed urgently to fund pressing national projects under the 2017 budget, Edito said. Among the allegedly culpable government agencies is National Petroleum Developing Company, NPDC. Moving the ex-party application yesterday, Akin Sai George said it would best serve the interest of justice for Justice Obioser to order the banks to remit the funds to the federal government, to prevent the funds from being moved or dissipated. Though withheld funds are urgently required for the implementation of the 2017 budget. The budget has a lifespan of 12 months and we are already in the middle of the year. By hiding these hidden funds, 
The federal government is being forced to borrow money from these commercial banks at exorbitant interest rates, a keen side George added. After listening to the San, Justice Obios are granted the interim orders. He directed that the order should be published in a national daily newspaper. The judge adjourned till August 8, for anyone interested in the funds to appear before him to show cause why the interim order should not be made permanent.